some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Jacksonville, Florida with Lana from J-Town Press as she is uh, trying to protest the security checks at the airport and, uh, well, makes herself look like a complete moron because, well, what else is new? She is a moron to begin with and perhaps a little bit of a soft heart of this one, as we shall soon see. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. I keep track of you right there. That's a gross, gross uh, negligence for your Fourth Amendment. A am I right? Yeah. They keep track of you. It's government keeping tabs on you. Oh, yeah, all these cameras in here. Right. Oh, here. yeah. I've keep been doing my research. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I got a YouTube channel that I do. So. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. The What's J Town Press. The what? The J Town Press. J Town Press. Yep. Okay. I'm eating fun. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Good, you? You guys can come this way for me. I wish you guys were tracking me with my idea. I think it's a Fourth Amendment violation. <laughs> Well, Lana, according to your opinion, uh, just about everything is against the Constitution. Uh, but thankfully, uh, we don't have to look to you for anything that's common sense. The Fourth Amendment protects us from unreasonable searches and seizures. So, uh, let me go ahead and ask you something, Lana. Is it unreasonable to make sure that uh, the right people are traveling on these uh, machines that will fly through the air, and if something happens to them, like a small explosion, that they won't damage the plane and kill everybody on board. I mean, stuff like that has been known to happen. Just look at Lockerbie. Just look at what the shoe bomber tried to do. Just look at what the underwear bomber tried to do. Just look at what the 9-11 hijackers did. So, my little moron, it is not exactly out of the realm of possibilities that things like that are uh, capable of happening, because they have happened, and they will happen again if there are no safeguards in place to make sure of that. Yeah. Keeping tabs on citizens, huh? Yes. Yeah. All for your security. Yeah. Giving up your Fourth Amendment rights for your, for, uh, keep track here. I guess how many guess how many terrorists they've, a, they've actually caught they've caught zero terrorists since their inception back in the early 2000s let me ask you something Lana if you truly believe that then let me uh, pose a little uh, question for you if you were going to attack a target would you go for the strong point and uh, risk wasting a lot of resources? Or would you try to seek out the weak spots and uh, start attacking there? I mean, the answer is real obvious. You don't attack the strongest part of the body. You go for the weak spot. You may not think that TSA is effective, but the mere presence of these people checking everything is definitely a deterrence to these idiots that want to attack us. And believe me, they will seek out the weak spots in security. Just take a look at what happened a few years ago at the Boston Marathon. You already know. Zero. But how many old ladies have they groped? Oh, fry me a river, you dumbass. If you really want to see a place that has absolutely no freedom whatsoever, go ahead and travel to North Korea. And you'll see that the moment you enter their country when they demand that you bow down to the statues of the Kim family. And that is no joke, dude. They make you bow down to those statues, even if you're a guest in the country. Can we take 
checking out any large electronics, laptops, e-readers, gaming systems. Do I need to check it out of the bag? Um, is that the only thing in Just there? Just the laptop, yeah. So let me ask you something, Lana. If we get rid of these procedures all together and do no searches at all, and somebody brings aboard a bomb vest, one that could actually be detonated in mid-air, then uh, hundreds of people die in the said explosion, are you going to be the one to explain to their families that you were not feeling secure because you felt your Fourth Amendment rights were being violated and hundreds of people ended up dying because you wanted it to go away? Because you're too much of an idiot to realize that there are real people out there who have real intentions of doing harm to as many people as they can for political gain. Had that thought ever crossed your tiny little brain? <laughs> You know, uh, Lana, I don't think you ever carried a concealed weapon because you know what? I always notice mine on my body. Just like any other article of clothing that I wear, I notice when it's on. And I definitely notice when I have my uh, CCW on me. So don't go through that BS. <laughs> the fly? Oh no, it's not. They, the, Supreme, the Supreme Court's already proven that we have the right to travel. You're wrong. Lana just went full soft hard. Don't ever go full soft hard. You do have the right to travel, you damn moron. It's just the means of travel is a privilege. They can damn well tell you that you are not allowed to fly on their planes, and that has happened in the past, and it will continue to happen to prevent the morons from, uh, uh let's say, doing something nefarious on those planes and costing the lives of scores of people should they carry out their nefarious acts on them. Oh, no, 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 you are very wrong. No, it's, 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 a, it's a right to travel. Yep, no, it's not, it's a right. You have a right, the Supreme Court has ruled to it. You are wrong. Nope. Well, yeah, there's other means to travel, but you still have the right to travel. So you guys are sitting there doing what you call perceived security. How many terrorists have you caught? Zero. Absolutely zero. Disgusting. This is right off of congress.gov. Pause to read. If you see right here, it says the Supreme Court has long recognized the right to travel from one state to another under the, the Privileges and Immunities Clause. Here's the Privileges and Immunities Clause, which we see here. As it states here, the key purpose of the Privileges and Immunities Clause was to help fuse into one nation a collection of independent sovereign states. Nobody's objecting to the right to travel, you bloody moron. It is the means of travel that is the issue. For instance, you can be denied the privilege of flying on an airplane should you cause any problems. And in every state in the country, you have to have a driver's license, registration, and tags on your car. <laughs> Shame on TSA. Absolutely disgusting. 
no, Lana, shame on you for not seeing the bigger picture. The bigger picture being the safety of everyone, not your small-minded ideas. Like I said before, there are plenty of people out there looking to do harm on as many people as they can. And your anger and disgust for what you see as a Fourth Amendment violation won't help the situation at all. So suck it up, Buttercup, because that issue is not going to be going away anytime soon. Because you know what? The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And if you feel uncomfortable because you think your Fourth Amendment rights are being violated, well, tough shit. Because past events have shown the need for situations like this because of the fact that there are people out there willing to go the extra mile to cause as much suffering as they can. And and your whining, bitching, and complaining just shows how short-sighted you truly are. So you know what, Lana? You can go uh, take a long walk off a short pier and go disappear. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.